Okay, let's see how to get our animation into OpenSim or Second Life. Here I am in World, and I'm going to import uh, the BVH file that I made in the previous video. So I go to File, Upload Animation, uh, just as you would an image or a sound file, uh, upload the animation. And I find the uh, file on my computer. There it is, twist.bvh. Choose it. And I get a little preview window here, and I can actually play it and see how it looks in the world. But notice uh, notice something here. In our animation when we made it, the arms were, were straight out to the side in what's called the T-pose, and we don't get that here. That's because I didn't actually move the arms when I made the animation. I only moved the waist joint, you may recall. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind. If you don't move it, it doesn't save it. And I can actually click loop here to have the animation repeat over and over again if I want to which, as I said before, is something you want to do for walking or swimming, uh, riding a bike, anything like that, where the uh, same motion is repeated over and over again. I'm just going to go ahead and let it loop. And there are some other options here that you can use to, uh, to join the animations together and, and make them uh, merge into each other smoothly. Uh, you can see the documentation for what those mean, but I'm just going to keep everything uh, at the default setting here. So I upload it, and there it is. Okay, and now my uh, new animation is in my inventory here. And I can double click on that and play it to see how it looks. And let me spin the camera around so you can see how it looks from the front. Uh, not extremely exciting, but uh, you get the idea of how this would work with a more complicated animation. And I'll just stop that now. Okay, so that's, uh, that's how that's done. And once they're in your inventory, you can add them to gestures and combine them with other animations and all that sort of stuff to make uh, you know fairly arbitrarily complex motion. That's it.